facts. Go to the CDC.gov. Do not be a science denier. But everyone here uses the CDC statistics as a credible source. They don't use it as a credible source. Go find me one single person here that believes the CDC numbers are actual. Where, where can people go to verify the numbers on your sign? You can go to the VAERS uh, database. This, you can go, so you can go to the CDC website. Like People just don't look at the information, but on the CDC website, and here's the URL if you want to. You get all your information from the CDC website, but you don't believe the CDC. What you need to understand is there's a difference between numbers being reported and policy. But you believe the numbers they report? No. Underreported. A lot of these numbers are manufactured. But where are the real numbers? First of all, you're not going to find it at the CDC. You can find it. Listen, you just told me to go to the CDC website. That's what they do tell the truth on on the CDC website. It's the mainstream media that's manipulating it. But we can trust the CDC. No, <laughs> you can't trust them. But you can't trust the CDC, but you can trust their website because that's where the numbers are and the numbers don't lie. Yeah, so, you know, you just, you got to get your information from a lot of people like you. So this TikToker by the name of Walter Masterson points out something that's really interesting. Now, he is here to point out the hypocrisy among the Republicans that, in some instances, say that they like using the CDC as a source, but in other instances say that they don't like using the CDC as a source. But this is part of a broader phenomenon that I think we all really need to understand a lot better. The reality is Republicans do not care about hypocrisy. That has not ever been something that they care about. So if they don't care about hypocrisy, what do they care about? You see, Republican Party, as it is today, fundamentally is a fascist party. And this is something that we need to understand very critically. Now, before I go into the details about how fascism propagates itself, we need to understand that the fundamental economic theory of fascism is one of privatization and essentially merging the public and private spheres in such a way that leaves the capitalists and specifically the most reactionary among capitalists as the ones being in power of the state. Now already we live under capitalism and now capitalism as defined by socialist theorists is where you have the dictatorship of capital that is to say where the state works to suppress the interest of the working class to benefit capitalists. Fascism is in some sense an expansion of capitalism, but it, it's a concentration into the hands of the most reactionary among the capitalist class. It is essentially a dictatorship of the most reactionary capitalists. So with that understanding, now we need to go into the question of why do these Republicans not care about hypocrisy, and why will they in some instances use the CDC data, and why do they in some instances not? Well, the truth is, fascists don't believe in truth. They believe in political power and they believe in their own propaganda. So this is something that is central to understanding this. You see, when these right-wingers run around making claims against their political opponents, when they make specific claims about data or things that are happening, there's no data, there's no facts or evidence that is ever going to convince them. You see, because saying things, the words that they use, the arguments that they make, are not about following any type of fact. They're not about reasoning towards any type of position. You see, the arguments that they make are more of a tool that is used to justify their own political power. And that right there is what is critical. You see, these extreme right-wingers fundamentally only believe in their own political power. And so they will say and do anything in order to push that forward. If that means sometimes agreeing with the CDC, they will agree with the CDC. If it means disagreeing with the CDC, then they'll disagree with the CDC. It doesn't matter. They are not interested in having any type of coherent ideology. It is about the most reactionary people among society concentrating power into their hands. And now you could say, but Ben, these folks aren't your everyday capitalists. These seem like they could be working class people. Now, first and foremost, we need to understand that a lot of people who are politically active on the right are actually usually small business owners or local landlords themselves. And they recognize that their interests, to a certain degree, do actually align with the most reactionary of the wealthiest capitalists that there are in town. That is because, of course, 
the more power companies have over individuals, the more landlords can evict their tenants for no reason at all and things like that. But also, you have to recognize that, that fascism fundamentally depends on, on a lot of racial animus and other forms of bigotry. And that bigotry is a tool that's used to mobilize a reactionary base. And when you have people that are this racist, and when you have people who are, in their mind, very terrified of demographic changes, they're afraid of losing power, which is its own discussion in and of itself about how the United States always kind of was a democracy that was by and for specifically white men. But now we have these folks who feel like they are losing political power that in reality they never had, but were made to feel like they had. And they too are only interested in their own political power, in the political power of their faction of the extreme right. So when it comes to arguing facts, there's no fact that is going to change their mind. There's no data from the CDC that's going to change their mind. They will do whatever they can to get legitimacy. That is their goal. Their goal is to create legitimacy for themselves, to present everybody else as being illegitimate, and saying and doing whatever is necessary to push that end. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can catch my show Galaxy Brain on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to stay up to date with my content, you can follow me at Benjamin Carollo on Twitter. And for those of you that might be wondering or have noticed, my pronouns are in fact she, her.